Well, I think I'm finally getting to a point where I can get the graphics card put in. All I have to do is take two of these slots out and then insert the graphics card. I took it out of the bag, uh, making sure that I grounded myself out on the chassis because I don't want to take any chances. We have pretty high humidity right now, but still. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll see how this goes in and then we'll power it up and see if we get everything in the boot. And if it does, then I'll proceed tidying things up and uh, getting the wires all tidied up, hooking up a monitor, keyboard, mouse, and go from there. Then I have to get an operating system. That's another story. Alrighty, I'm just getting these uh, these plates out for now. Trying to do it with one hand. And you pretty much have to take the whole screw out, unfortunately. And then pop this back in. Two plates removed. That's pretty easy to do. Then we'll just take the card and we'll pop it in. Hopefully. I'm going to have to set this down, pop it in, take off the guards, and then I will show you the, the card installed. Okay, I'm just about ready, I do believe. Um, one little hiccup that I had that I didn't know about is on these particular connectors, what they've done is they do uh, 6 plus 2. And this had a 8-pin connector and a 6-pin connector. This is obviously the 8, that's a 6. Also on the power supply cables, they had these jumpers. Now, I first thought, well, maybe that's for two graphics cards and maybe I should run dual cables over here, making one 6 and one 8. And I had to do some research and there's been some testing and stuff and yes you can use these for the jumpers um, and they found that there wasn't a whole lot there wasn't a loss in power some had seen a better performance with uh, separate cables so I don't know anyways that's the how that's how I hooked it up and uh, yeah I just have to clean up the wiring here a little bit and uh, it's really really kind of a mess before I do anything I'm gonna kind of uh, show you well, I was going to show you, but it's a mess in the, in the back. Anyways, so what I'm looking for here is for everything to fire up. Um, there wasn't a speaker to hook up. Um, there's a place on the board at the bottom, down on the front panel connectors, but there wasn't a wire for the speaker. So, I don't know if I have a speaker or not. Um... If I don't, then I'll just look for everything to boot up. And uh, hopefully I don't smell smoke. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, unedited. This is what we're going to do. We're going to turn on the power supply. Smoke, no smoke, nothing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come back here, stand away, get the fire extinguisher ready. No, just kidding. We are going to push, if I can figure out which one it is, the power button. I think it's this one. There we go. Well, what do you know? Now, there is a couple of LEDs going off, and I don't... I have to look up to see what those LEDs mean. Those are supposed to give indications of how your motherboard's doing. Um, it's kind of randomly going. And you can see, if you look in there, you can see there's a lot of, a lot of plugs that aren't being used. Some are fans. Um, some are um, RGB control. Let's uh, turn off the... Let's see if we can turn off the um, flash on this. All right, I've turned off the flash. Um, it's also supposed to be software that you can do. Um, the G-Skill, I don't know if it's supposed to be RGB or not, but it's it's lit up. 
Um, I've got a yellow and a white light on. I have no idea what those are. Um, LED is kind of trippy on that thing. Which LED is not going to matter to me because I'm not going to have the cover. Uh, the cover is not uh, transparent. So um, it doesn't matter at all. The colors. I just, uh, you know, sometimes you have no choice but to get RGB. Um, but yeah, I like that it's hooked up. I'm going to have to look to see what those LEDs mean. And then after that, I can get some, uh, get a monitor hooked up and the keyboard and the, uh, hook all the stuff up and see what's going on. I'm just kind of mesmerized. First time, just fired up. I was really, really surprised because I thought for sure that hole <laughs> and I drilled <laughs> through the PCB would not, uh, <laughs> would not end up being very well, w would not go well. But um, it has, so I'll power it off, and then we'll see what happens when I get the rest of the stuff hooked up. Well, I've kind of tidied up the wire a little bit. Um, I didn't want that, but that's what happens. I don't have any clear side cases, so that's what we get. Um, I did discover about the LEDs on the motherboard, and those are actually status um, lights and... The two that we're on is the white, which is the VGA. That's because I had no monitor hooked up. And then the other one is for um, boot. Now, I don't have a monitor hooked up yet, but I'm thinking, nor do I have an operating system. So I'm thinking that that's telling me that it didn't boot because I don't have an operating system. So I'm hoping that's the case. Um, right now, I temporarily have my SSD. I'm not going to hook up the data cable because I want the primary drive to be the NVMe in the M.2 slot on the motherboard. So to keep things simple, I'm just going to load the operating system on it. And then once I do that, I can hook up this drive and this will be my storage drive mainly. Um, so yeah, let's get the panel on and hook up the monitor and the keyboard. They're anxiously awaiting over here. And uh, we'll see what we get. Well, that about concludes the build portion of this PC. Currently, I just have it on the floor. And so far, I just have the monitor hooked up. I'm going to have to get the BIOS set up and various other things. Got to get my RAM taken care of because it's set at 2133, even though it's 3600 megahertz. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> This is nice. Get to check out all my fan speed info, my motherboard temperature, CPU. Um, it did show the CPU temperature. Oh yeah, there it is, 37 Celsius. So, which I hate. <laughs> I'd rather have Fahrenheit, but you know, that's kind of the standard. Um, so yeah, I got to get in here and set some things up. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this wasn't a build tutorial. I Took my long ass time building it. Made some mistakes along the way. Redid the mistakes. <laughs> Changed what I did as a mistake. So, what the heck. Anyways, thanks for watching. Remember, take care of yourselves and take care of each other.